Hey Vinyl Nation, I am Matt the Fat Bearded Vinyl Guy and I am back in the vinyl lair. Legendary record producer Martin Birch passed away last weekend at the age of 71. He worked with artists such as Fleetwood Mac, Deep Purple, Black Sabbath, and Iron Maiden. He retired in 1992 after producing Iron Maiden's Fear of the Dark record. To honor him, I am going to count down some of my favorite Martin Birch produced records in chronological order. There was only one catch. It had to be five different bands. Otherwise, it just would be five Iron Maiden albums. In 1970, Martin Birch was primarily an engineer, and he was one of three that worked on Deep Purple's In Rock. At this point, Birch had also worked with Fleetwood Mac and Jeff Beck. This was the second album that he did with Deep Purple. He was the engineer for the previous year's Concerto for Group and Orchestra. In all, Birch either engineered or co-produced 10 albums for Deep Purple. Here's where we start to see a pattern develop. Richie Blackmore left Deep Purple in 1974, intending to make a solo record. That instead became the first album from Rainbow the following year. What's so significant of this record is that it contains the song Man on the Silver Mountain. This is where many of us heard the legendary Ronnie James Dio for the first time. Martin Birch mixed and produced the record with Blackmore and Dio. He also produced three other albums with Rainbow. After Ronnie James Dio left Rainbow in 1979, he was looking for a gig. Black Sabbath had just fired Ozzy Osbourne, and the Dio Sabbath era began not long after. Mob Rules is the second record Dio did with Black Sabbath, and also the second Sabbath album produced by Martin Birch. Both men would not work on the following studio album, although Dio did do one more Sabbath album, 1992's Dehumanizer. Also released in 1981, Martin Birch produced White Snake's Come and Get It record. By this time, however, Birch was no stranger to White Snake. He had produced three previous studio albums, two live albums, and an EP, in addition to the next White Snake record, Slide It In. So, what's the Deep Purple connection? Well, White Snake frontman David Coverdale was in Deep Purple from 1973 to 76. Drummer Ian Pace and keyboardist John Lord were also from the Deep Purple camp. Sadly, there's no Deep Purple connection here, but this did start a long and fruitful partnership between Martin Birch and Iron Maiden. The band wanted Birch to produce the first Iron Maiden album the previous year, but they thought they couldn't afford the well-known producer at the time. In all, Birch produced 10 albums for Iron Maiden, and the band will say he was just as instrumental in the Maiden sound of the 80s as the guys playing the instruments. This is just a small sample of the immense impact Martin Birch made on rock in the 70s and 80s. If you like heavy British rock from the 70s and 80s, chances are you know a song Martin Birch had his fingerprints on. He may have retired almost 30 years ago and died just recently, but his work will continue to live on. As long as we keep spinning, he'll keep rocking. That's all for now. For more music talk and vinyl shenanigans, go to fatbeardedvinylguy.com. You'll find links to my social media, Facebook and Instagram. I'm trying to get into Twitter, so you're going to have to give that one some time. If you want still more, you can catch me every Wednesday on Richard Tiemann's Fan Show. You can catch him at facebook.com slash fanshowofficial. Until next time, take it easy and I'll catch you on Side B.